Hi early years and welcome to our first P at home lesson. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. So today's focus is movement. And with movement, we might be looking at different ways of traveling, looking at sequences, and we might even be moving around like different animals. Let's get started. Each week, we're going to demonstrate a new type of exercise for you to do during your warm up. So today you'll be looking at jumping jacks. going to be jumping jacks. With jumping jacks we're only going to start off with our lower body. Now if you look at my lower body to start off with the legs super straight standing together and then they're going to go to a outline. Now what shape is it like? It looks a little bit like a, a triangle and they go back in and then and then back in then back out then back in. You might even challenge yourself to go a little bit faster. Well done. So now we're going to go up upper body using a jumping jack. And first of all, our starting position is by our side. And then our arms go up, super straight, up by our shoulders, and back down. And up, and back down by our sides. And up, and back down by our sides. And up, and back down by our sides. Now we're going to link both of those movements to make a sequence. So first of all, my hands are by my side, and my feet are straight together. And they're going up to make a star, and they're coming in almost like a soldier. Out like a star, in like a soldier. So it becomes one movement, out like a star, in like a soldier. Now I wonder if you can challenge yourself to go a little bit faster. Up, in, up, in. Fantastic. Our warm-up today is going to be follow the leader. The PE team are going to be demonstrating an activity and I want you to follow on as much as you possibly can. Give it everything you've got. You ready? Okay, we're jogging on the spot. Keep going. That's it. Try and stay in the same place. Keep running. Get ready, we're going to be getting down to the ground and standing back up. Are you ready? Doing a great job, guys. Keep going. Okay, get ready for square jumps. So you're going to imagine there's a square on the floor and you're going to jump in each corner. Go! Keep going! Coming up, it's the jumping jacks, the jumping jacks we practiced earlier. Go! Well done! Remember, if you're struggling, just do the feet or the arms. Keep going. Mountain climbers are coming next. You're going to need to be on the floor. Get ready. You're running. That's it. Tapping those toes back and forth. Coming up next is like running on the spot, but we're going to kick our bottoms. Are you ready? Go! Get those feet all the way back. Well done. You're doing really well. Need to be on the floor, so get yourself on the floor, put your feet up in the air, and I want you to drop one foot at a time to the other one where it's unlike this floor, keep your back flat on the floor. Okay, we're gonna squat and we're gonna do a big jump. A big, big jump. Well done. You're doing really well. Carry on. We're going to need to get on the floor next with just more. Let's see what we've got coming up next. Oh, we're doing shoulder taps. So get yourself down on all fours and tap those shoulders one at a time. Well done. You're doing amazing. Not long left. Spots 
you're going to hold your imaginary skin rope and you're going to skip just like Mr. Shaw's. One more to go and we're going to be back on the floor. Get yourselves ready. We're moving down to the floor. Now, oh look, we're doing jumps. Get those feet either side of your body. You're doing amazing, well done. Last few seconds. Great work, well done. Okay, after such an intense workout, I think we're going to need to cool down and we're going to work our way down our body and stretch our muscles because we don't want you aching. So the first thing we're going to look at is our wrists because actually we've done a lot of floor work today. So we're going to start with our wrists. You're going to push forward so that you put your hands flat on the floor and push forward. And that's it, extending those wrists. Lovely. And back this time we're going to go down. So push them down. And back up. So if you find it easy on the floor to lean forward, that's fine. If you want to do it like this, because it actually possibly is putting too much strain on your wrist, that's fine as well. Lovely. Right. We're going to get ourselves sat on the floor, cross our legs, and we're going to do some side bends. So, hand across, the other hand is going to come up and over. And hold it. Lovely, keep holding, and swap. So now this hand is going to go under, and we're going to come over, and stretch. Try and keep your arm above your head, try and keep your back nice and straight, and keep your head in line with your spine. Keep holding, keep holding. Lovely, well done. Now we're going to do a twist. So we're going to put one hand behind, and we're going to put our other hand over on cross leg and hold it here, lovely, keep holding, try and look right behind you, and swap, so this one behind, other hand on your knee, and twist, lovely, well done, keep going, Fabulous. Right, we're going to go onto our knees and from here we're going to stretch out our spine. So we're going to put our back down and we're going to curl our back, holding it here. Then we're going to curl our back up. So we're going to bring our chin to our chest and hold it. And back down. Hold it here. Try and look up as high as you can. And the reverse, bring your chin into your chest and pull up. Lovely, well done. Okay, putting our feet out behind, we're going to bring one leg up to the side and we're going to hold it here. Hold it for a little bit longer. That's it, try and keep those legs straight. And swap, so the leg goes back out, swap the other leg. If you haven't got your legs further forward, you might need to shuffle. Lovely, well done. Okay, coming back to your sitting pose. So, one knee is going to tuck into the side of your leg. The other leg is going to be out nice and long. And we're going to try and hold on to our feet and pull ourselves down to our knees. Trying to keep our back straight. Hold that stretch. Good, keep holding. Lovely. And you'll feel this stretch all the back of your leg. And we're going to swap sides. So move it over to the other side. Lovely. And we're going to stretch down. Hold your feet. That's great, you're doing so well guys. And remember, this is gonna help you tomorrow so you don't ache. Lovely, well done. Okay, feet out to the side. 
and we're going to walk our hands forward, keeping our back nice and straight and lean in. And you should feel this stretch along the inside of your leg. Hold it here. Well done, try and keep your toes up. Some of you might be more flexible and obviously you can do your straddle pose further, but make sure that you can feel it in the same place. Lovely, well done. Coming back up and get that back nice and straight. Okay, onto our side. We're gonna do the last few stretches. We're gonna bring one knee up to our chest and we're gonna drop it over the side. So you'll see my body rolls and we're gonna try and stretch the other way. Lovely. Hold it there. And return, bring your arms back first. Bring your knee back and swap. So the other side, bring your knee up, bring it over and hold it there and stretch the other way. Good, hold it here. If you can get your shoulders down to the floor, that would be much better. Fantastic, coming back up. Oh, and we're gonna hug the knees, keep them in nice and tight and stretch out that back. Lovely. And the last one is we're gonna do the child pose. So we're gonna go onto our knees we're going to put our bottom back to our feet, we're going to stretch our hands forward and we're just going to put our head on the floor and relax, having a nice full stretch. That's it, hold it here. Brilliant. You've worked incredibly hard today. And hopefully those stretches will help for tomorrow. So let's move on to the next section. Fantastic. We're now going to move on to our motor skill section. And this is where we move around at lots of different animals. As you might be aware, animals move around in different ways. Some might be super fast, some might be super slow. Some might move around by jumping, some might be crawling. So that is what we're going to challenge ourselves with. Thumbs up if you're ready for a challenge. Okay, so we're now going to do a bear walk. Now, doing a bear walk, we're down on all fours using four points, which is our hands and our feet. I'm going to demonstrate, and then why don't you have a go? Our four points. We're going to turn around. Fantastic. Now, you might not have as much space as me, so you might want to go a little bit slower, but always look in front, look where you're going, and watch out for those around you. If you've got a little bit more space, you might be able to go a little bit faster. Enjoy. Bear walks, I wonder how many can you do in the next 10 seconds? Go! Stop. Penguin walk. So we're going to look at how a penguin would move. Well, thinking about it, a penguin only will walk on its two feet, so very much like us. However, he's going to have these flippers that are sticking out and his feet are turned out slightly and they waddle and they move around like they're waddling. I wonder if you can have a go. Should we try this? Keep waddling, moving like a penguin, get that head up high. Nice, keep going, keep going. Remember their little movements. I wonder if you can have a little bit longer of trying this activity. Wow, let's see how far you can walk as a penguin. Ready? Go! Well done! The next movement is going to be a crab walk. Now a crab walk is a little bit different to me and you. It walks only on its sides. So for this one, the key points are your belly has to be facing the ceiling and you're going to be on all four points. That means you're going to be on your hands and your feet. So I'll quickly show you and then we will walk and then challenge yourself to have a go. So my belly's facing the ceiling and I'm going sideways. This is a bit of a challenge, well done. This is a little bit of a challenge. However, you are new to winners. So if you find it a little bit difficult, take it nice and slow. Remember, you are a new to winner. 
And do we ever give up? No, we don't. Oh, crab walking looks pretty tricky. Do you think you guys can have a go? You ready? Go. Nice work. The next animal we're going to look at is a donkey. So how does a donkey move? Well, it kind of moves like a horse, but it's on all fours anyway. So, but the most important thing that a donkey does is a donkey kicks. So we're going to look at something called donkey kicks. All four points are going to be on the floor, so your hands and your feet. And you're going to kick your feet up and step over. Move your hands and step over. Move your hands and step over. So you're kicking your feet up. You. Donkey kicks? Oh, I'm not sure these are very safe. Shall we have a try? Go. Now the next animal movement is going to be horse gallop. And with a horse gallop, you're going to have your hands up like you're holding on to the reins on the back of a horse. You're going, I'm going to turn to the side and one foot's going to lead. So you're almost jumping over. Pretend you're jumping over something. You can add a noise in if you would like. So if one foot's leading. Yeah. Oh my goodness, a surprise galloper. Horse galloping, yes! Let's gallop around the room as quickly as we can. You ready? Go! The next one is caterpillar walk. So what you're going to do is you're going to slink up and down. So your body's going to come up and then it's going to slink back down again. So starting in what looks like a front support position or a plank, you're going to have your body out straight, Walk your feet to your hands, walk your hands out forward. Walk your feet to your hands, walk out forward. And you'll notice my body is going up and down like a caterpillar. Good luck and have fun. Caterpillar walking? I wonder if you can slink up and down across the room. Let's see how many you can fit in this time. Let's go. to do frog leaps and frogs have really long legs in comparison to their body and it allows them to do really explosive jumps I mean they can jump really high so I'm going to show you I'm going to bend my knees I'm going to touch the floor and I'm going to jump really high using your legs I'm going to go to the side and you might even want to add noise what, what noise does a frog make I wonder that's it ribbit ribbit so I bend my knees I'm touching the ground and I can see how high I can jump jump Another key point is when you're jumping and you bend your knees, try and land on the balls of your feet. So if you watch my feet, I'm jumping, I'm landing on my toes and it's softening to my feet. So ready? Like a frog. Oh look, we found some really long legs. Ribbit, ribbit. Frog leaping. <gasps> Let's see, how high can you make your jump? Can you get as high as Mr Moore? Challenge time! So, you've now learned all the moves. We're going to pop one of the pictures of the animals up and your challenge is to recreate the movement that you know they do. So, get ready. Set, go. Did you get it right like Miss Darwish? Well done. That was tricky, wasn't it, Miss Powell? Well done. Phew, those donkey kicks are hard work.
I hope you were jumping as high as Miss Hessie. Everyone loves a gallop. Well done, Miss Kennedy. Whoa, that bear walk was so good. Thanks, Miss Musselwhite. Wow, Mr. Cell made that look super easy. Well done. Well done, everyone. I hope you were just as good as my friends at school. Let's see, if you want to have another go, obviously you can rewind this and try again. But I'm pretty sure you guys did amazing, so well done. Brilliant stuff. Really proud of your involvement during episode one. Give yourself a huge round of applause. Absolutely amazing. Now, you have shown true grit Lots is our core value for this term. And I wonder if you could be just as involved during episode two. Now, as an extra challenge, I wonder if you could think of another animal or your favorite animal. What different way does an animal tr move around? Hmm. That is your challenge. See you on episode two.